Hey everyone, welcome to the Chasing Ebenezer show. This is a show where we talk about stuff, play you some music, and encourage you to be creative and as weird as you want, because a lot of you are still at home and no one's having to watch you. It's great. <laughs> I'm Benjamin and this is Heidi. You got a little allergies going I do. on today. I do. I sound really scratchy and I haven't been crying all day yet. Yeah, no, he hasn't. I actually haven't. Uh, but no, my eyes are driving me nuts today. Poor babe. That's okay. We're going to be real. Um, I want to say thank you to our patrons who support us each week. If you have not um, checked that out and you are interested in supporting us, you can visit us on patreon.com. Search Chasing Ebenezer. And, That's uh, us. You know, whatever amount you want to give, um, whether it's a dollar or more, uh, you will end up with our EP when it's out. Yeah, so. we'll have that digitally free for all of our patrons. Exactly. So. It'll be really, really um, fun. So, um, but if maybe maybe you already are a patron or you just want to find some other ways to help us out, there's a few. This is the only pitch I'm going to do. Uh, okay. One free way is to follow us on Spotify. Um, the more followers we have, that's really good for us. Listen to us on Spotify. That's also free. Um, put us on your playlist. Recommend us to your friends. Uh, the other thing is we're trying to drum up some guitar lessons and violin lessons. Heidi, I you... had my first virtual violin yeah. lesson this week, and shout out to my wonderful student for doing that with me. But it, it didn't. It it after a few minutes, I, got I got used, used to, it. to it. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So we're happy to do that. Yeah, yeah, I offer guitar lessons, or if it's songwriting coaching, um, I'm willing to do that as well. And uh, yeah, we got some workshops. We we we're. Yeah, virtual, virtual, virtual workshops. So that's the world that we're in right now, and so you guys know, get it. Let you us know it. how we can better serve you and help you. So um, I just I wanted to say thank you. I don't know who sent me a bunch of awesome canvases, and this was someone sent me this huge box of them right before my mom passed away, which was about three weeks. <laughs> Wow. Seems like an eternity yeah. ago, but it's only been about three and a half weeks. So I am so grateful. I'm not quite done with it, but I'm I'm painting this for the ICU staff. So I'm grateful. It's been really hard to do any kind of creative stuff yeah. at all, but I'm I'm trying to weave little bits of that in. So yeah, you could I could customize one for you. You could order. Or what do you call it? Commission one. Commission. Oh, that sounds like such an important word. It's such an art word. It's such an artsy word. Yeah. I know. I don't think I'm refined enough for that kind of word. <laughs> but, but thank you to whoever sent me this box. Because I didn't see a name in, in the box. So thank you, mystery And that's person. possible that you did include your name. and But because I was the, the one The that... stress. No, the stress. We're missing things. Yeah. So thank you. All right. What are we talking about today? Well... It's been a heavy week or two or million for, for the world right now. And so we're very aware of that. I'm sure you're very aware yeah. of it. And there's something that I've been thinking about for, for quite a while, probably since the beginning of the whole COVID thing, thing uh, situation. And so today we're going to talk just a little bit about, about breath, hmm. which is kind of a weird, weird topic. Um, but when COVID first broke out, I was just really so just grieved by the fact that the people who are dying, a lot of it's because they can't breathe. Our cat just joined us, by the way, so that's why I'm a little, little distracted, but. Here you go. And then when my mom passed away, this is getting real here. We had to, we had, we chose to end life support and that involved her having to have no more artificial breath and eventually just she passed away and mm. so I've been, I've been thinking about how important that breath of life is and my dad had helped talk to me about some of that too and then George Floyd yeah. died and that was one of the things he was declaring was that breathe. I can't breathe so there's just been this whole concept of that so I've really been pondering how valuable the breath of mm -hmm. life is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you want to? Yeah, no, the breath of life is really important. Um, you know, when we read in the in the Genesis story in the Bible, you know, God breathed into mankind. 
And when we breathe out, we breathe out words, and those words have effects on other people. I was thinking about that old adage about like, you know, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a they crock. Hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> My mom loved that phrase, by the way. This is a crock. She would, she loved to say that. Because words definitely hurt they me. They do. They do. How many of you have been shaped by something good someone has said to you? And how many of you have been shaped by something maybe not so good that someone has said to you? Words really do kind of... They, 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 set, they, they do. They, they can do. set the course of our life. Right. Um, yeah. So I really have come to appreciate in a whole new way. We, we love Jesus. And mm -hmm. yes. when he died on the cross, he was crucified, mm -hmm. which a huge part of why that was so horrific is because what i mean i don't know from personal experience obviously but my understanding is that you're, you're, you're not breathed so, the, yep. so the dying person on the cross is having to mm -hmm. gasp for breath gasp grasp all of the above as they're hanging and so i appreciate that that's the grisly way that God chose to to save the world is that it started with Adam's breath, but then Jesus was willing to give up his breath. Right, yeah, yeah. Kind of this full circle thing. Um, and then obviously he defeats death and is raised from the grave. He's alive. I just mm. really appreciate that, that idea of breath, that mm. he was willing to forgo that. Mm -hmm. So I just really have a new appreciation for, for oxygen, for clean, pure air. Yep. I want to get better at the words that I speak, at at speaking words that are lovely and pure. Mm -hmm. Even as I'm talking to you now, it's almost like we're almost afraid to say the wrong thing. But then sure. sometimes I know that I will withhold words and and. and kind words maybe because i don't know how i'm going to be perceived mm, but mm -hmm. i want to not do that so yeah. yeah yeah so your prompt for this week two things it's two options okay, options we'd encourage you to do both <laughs> um is create something with the word breath as your prompt whatever that might be pretty easy and your other one which might be more challenging <laughs> is this idea of speaking blessing, speaking, uh, I've heard it said words of life. Affirmation. Affirmation. Encouragement. Is to bless two people this week. Bless someone that you really agree with. <laughs> and then, wait for it, bless someone that maybe you don't agree with. Not, that doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they exactly. think. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. These, this, these two people don't agree on everything. What in the world are you talking about? That would be a whole it's other true. episode. It's true. If you if you knew how many times we got in fights before filming, which we, we didn't, didn't we today, didn't today, maybe after. Good. After, you know. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, so speaking of breathing words, uh, the song that we're going to do is a song that I wrote. You're such a So that involves writer. breath. You're so sweet. Hey, she, that does not count as your person for the week. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, but this is a song off our Outcasts and Refugees album. Um We'd like to dedicate it to Callie Bowen because she had said that she really liked this song. Yeah. Um, but it's called The Water. Hi, Callie. Hi, Callie. Check out their Shady Pines yep. uh, virtual open mic, by the way, and their new radio station. Yeah. They're they're fantastic. We, we love them a lot. Um, so, yeah, the song's called The Water. It's on uh, the Chasing Ebenezer Outcasts and Refugees album, which you can hear on Spotify. We're going to play it for you right now. So We love you. We love you. Happy creating. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.
for the men we see Living out the American dream Breaking their back for peace and security Selling their soul to silver and gold Moth and rust and growing old Lead them back to the dirt from where they came souls to work the earth could it be the snake by running through our veins we need an antidote we need a cure we need an antidote we need a cure Sarah blood transfusion I can get Overcome my fear, regret, blood transfusion I can get to overcome the world. Is there a blood transfusion I can get to overcome my fear, regret, blood transfusion I can get to overcome the world? Oh, come and drink from the water. Oh, come and drink for free. The streams that flow are priceless. Come rest your weary feet. 